Uh, welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting regarding the upcoming Stop 6 Poly Oversight and Echo Heights Street Improvement Project. My name is Greg Robbins and I'm a project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department, specifically in our Neighborhood Street Division. Um, on the call with us this evening are uh, representatives of the Fort Worth Water Department, the engineering consultant doing the design work, and others from TPW. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and give the community a chance to provide feedback or ask questions about the project and how you'll be impacted. Here's the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, uh, providing a summary of the improvements on each street associated with this project, discussing the expected schedule as we move forward, and then walking up some time at the end for your questions and input. So <clears throat> first we'll talk about the overall scope of the improvements associated with this project. This project is part of the proposed and upcoming 2022 bond election, which will be voted on in May of this year. The city manager and city council has kindly provided funding to start the design of this project and several others in, in anticipation of the bond passing here in a couple of months. Um, funding for this construct for the construction of this project and others in the bond package um, uh, are, are included in the bond package. So please remember, remember to go vote. Uh, this project includes four streets within the stop six and poly oversight areas that are slated for reconstruction. They are Burton Avenue from South Hughes to East Dead End, Crouch Avenue from Burton Avenue to East Berry Street, Quails Lane from Miller Avenue to South Edgewood Terrace, and Chickasaw Avenue from Miller Avenue to MLK Freeway. <clears throat> On the next couple of slides, I'll discuss the existing conditions present on these streets and give a street by street breakdown of the proposed improvements. So this slide shows the, the existing conditions of these streets and why they're included in this bond package for reconstruction. You can see from the pictures, the issues that we'll be correcting including include damaged uh, asphalt pavement, uh, missing or broken curbs and gutters, uh, damaged or missing sidewalks and driveways, um, as well as replacing or upgrading the water and sewer utilities under the street in several locations. Next, I'll go through each street individually and discuss the improvements that are expected to be made on each one. On Burton Avenue, we'll be replacing the existing pavement and providing new concrete curbs or adding curbs where none are existing. We'll also be replacing the existing driveways with new concrete drives. Uh, these new driveways will be a minimum of 11 feet wide or will match your existing driveway if it's wider than that. Uh, Burton will also be getting a new five foot sidewalk on one side of the street that alternates uh, what side of the street it's on depending on the block. Um, we'll also be replacing the existing eight inch water line in the street and also upgrading the existing six inch sewer to eight inch. On Crouch Avenue, um, for water and sewer improvements, we'll be replacing the existing eight inch water and also replacing a eight inch sewer in the easement to the west of the street. For paving improvements, um, it'll be new pavement with new concrete curbs, um, new concrete driveways, minimum of 11 foot width, and also five foot sidewalks on the west side of the street and portions of the east side. On Quells Lane, we'll be replacing portions of the 16 inch water in the street, as well as replacing the existing eight inch and 10 inch sewer. Uh, paving improvements are similar to the other streets. We have new pavement, new concrete curbs, new driveways, and we have new uh, concrete sidewalk on both sides of the street. Finally, on Chickasaw, we'll be replacing the existing eight inch water and upgrading the existing sewer to eight inch. Paving improvements include new pavement, new concrete curbs, new driveways, um, and uh, a new uh, sidewalk on the south side of the street. Uh, this slide in the next shows something of what you, you can expect the finished product to look like once the construction is finished. We will be providing a full depth reconstruction of the existing pavement and rebuilding the existing driveways and concrete.
Uh, we'll also be providing concrete sidewalks on many of the streets, which also include new ADA accessible wheelchair ramps where needed. So next I'll speak a little bit about the anticipated schedule for the rest of the project. Uh, the dates show here, shown here are what we estimate going forward for the project milestones and is based uh, on the voting date of the board bond approval. This project is currently in, in the design phase and we're a little bit more than 60% of the way finished. We received uh, the 60% plans from our consultant engineer a few weeks ago. We've reviewed them and they're moving toward the next deliverable with, uh, next month. You can see that the next item on the schedule is the 2022 bond, which I wanted to remind you about so you can, uh, so we can get funding to make the improvements that I showed earlier. After that, if all goes to plan, we plan on advertising for bids sometime in, in July of this year and receiving them uh, possibly in, in August. It takes a couple of months for the award process to complete, so we hope to get council approval by November and then award the contract to the qualified contractor um, by early next year. After that, the last step is the construction itself, uh, which we expect to start uh, early in 2023 and last for about a year. If you'd like any additional information about the 2022 bond program, uh, you can go to this link to find out more information about funding, uh, including uh, projects associated with the bond and other items of interest. Uh, we've now come to the end of the presentation. Uh, we'll move into our questions and input portion of the presentation. All right, thanks to everyone in attendance today. Here's my contact information. Please feel free uh, to reach out to me by phone or email if you have any follow-up questions or comments. Um, hope everyone has a good evening and I look forward to hearing from you.